Hello and welcome to the Arkansas e-traveler. After a little bit of a hiatus following the uh, appendicitis and appendectomy that I had a few weeks ago, I'm ready for a Walmart energy update and I hope that you are as well. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different because there is so much information. It's probably going to feel a little bit like a lecture, maybe a little bit boring, but there are so many locations here that they're, the odds of one being close to you are fairly good. So let's take a look at these locations and see uh, where Walmart Energy is heading and hopefully you will be excited by what you see today. Let's start real fast in the DFW Metroplex. The progress since my last update is not much. Uh, the three locations that were listed as open and then coming soon still remain to be coming soon. However, we do know thanks to uh, city permits and inspections available online that one of the locations in Fort Worth uh, passed its inspection. It has power. You can see on the right there from Don at EV Texans that uh, the, the screen on the Alpitronic hypercharger, uh, you are able to uh, use it somewhat. It does power on. It does present a QR, but when you scan the QR, it just doesn't go anywhere in the Walmart app. So uh, not able to be used just yet. Hopefully we'll see that in the coming weeks um, and they can kind of pick up the pace on these. There are so many of them that are ready to go. We're just caught up once again in this long drawn out process of inspections and such. All right, let's get into the permit applications found. Again, these are thanks to EV Texans. Uh, Alejandro EV66 and Guy Moffin, I believe is his name. Sorry if I mispronounced that guy, um, but he contributed as well in the Pacific Northwest. First of all, Supercenter 2991 in Cedar Park. This is a suburb of Austin, uh, so a new market, uh, but showing a trend that we'll talk about in just a second. A new market found here for Walmart Energy uh, to provide public electric vehicle EV charging stations for the existing Walmart Supercenter that being 2991 in Cedar Park. Next in Texas at Supercenter 266 in Grapevine. This is referred to as the Cadillac Walmart, according to the Kimley Horn representative at the Grapevine City Council meeting. Uh, this was a fun permit that Alejandro EV66 found because it came with the whole uh, planning commission meeting, and I, and I watched it for about the 10 minutes that... Walmart and Kimley Horn were there explaining this, and it is going to include six Alpitronic hyperchargers, 12 stalls total. The debate in this particular council meeting was about basically aesthetics. Um, the switch gear and the transformer what was going to hide them. Again, this is an area that apparently prides itself on its aesthetics. So the Cadillac Walmart can live up to its name uh, for the DFW Metroplex. So just are we using masonry? Or are we using evergreen shrubbery? Or are we using deciduous? It was a whole debate. Um, either way, it went through. So uh, we have this location now added to the portfolio of coming soon in the DFW. Manor, Texas, back to Austin on the east side of town this time. Uh, the installation of public electric EV charging stations uh, for the existing Walmart Super Center. Um, this is uh, kind of building out Austin in some way, uh, especially on the outskirts. It looks like this is going to be along Highway 290, which is connecting Austin to Houston. So the bigger scheme that's going on here I think is they're trying to cover the I-35 portion of the Texas Triangle because we have two permits in San Antonio that we know about. We have two now near Austin. There's one in Buda along the way to DFW and then of course DFW being the mac daddy of it all right now. So um, I-35 that build out is going well in Texas even extends into Oklahoma City. So next question is when does Houston get on this? Chances are they already have. We just haven't found the permits. We'll talk more about that later. All right. Thanks to Guy on X uh, for finding this one, Spanaway, Washington. Uh, this is adding to the two locations in Puyallup and in Renton that we know about in the SeaTac area. Uh, they are looking to install four new electric vehicle charging stations in a parking lot area along with the transformers and such. So this one is on the south side of the SeaTac area. 
almost halfway to Olympia, the state capital. So uh, this is going to be a good, useful uh, location. Looks like it's a bit of a suburban area, but I'm sure I-5 corridor drivers uh, getting off in that area can use this as well. He also found Lakewood, Washington. Lakewood uh, is a little bit further north, not a ton from Spanaway, closer to Tacoma, but it is very similar in the other SeaTac locations. This makes the fourth one now. Uh, this Supercenter 3537 uh, is, again, proposing four new electrical EV charging stations for eight stalls total. All right, let's go to the Midwest. Whole new market, Omaha, Nebraska, Supercenter 5361. Uh, we have here the original description being uh, installation of four EV chargers to an existing Walmart Supercenter. Uh, that should be eight stalls total. Not sure what the build will be here. Uh, the vendor of choice, I would suspect, though, would be Alpitronic here. Um, so that's very, very encouraging for Omaha. Not because there's only one, but there's another on the north side of town. Uh, very similar permit here asking to build four EV chargers with eight stalls total at Supercenter 1637 along uh, Interstate 280 in the north part of town. But where there are two, there are three. Supercenter 5141 in Omaha. Uh, very similar build here. Again, four. This one looks very suburban to me, though. There's not really a highway, uh, a U.S. highway. There's not really a uh, an interstate. This one looks like it could be potentially a, a, a suburban build. So um, very, very excited about this. And then finally, Papillion, Nebraska, but it is in the Omaha market, uh, looking to build four EV chargers uh, with eight stalls total. So Omaha, you got four that we know about coming. There definitely could be more, but Interstate 80 is now joining the fray in Omaha with Walmart Energy. Let's go to another new market. This time it is Washington, D.C. In Manassas, Virginia, Supercenter 3573 is going to be installing four Alpitronic Hypercharger HYC400 units to build out eight stalls total in the outskirts of Arlington and Washington, D.C. So this is a good location for those coming in to visit the nation's capital or whatever. Kind of looks a little suburban to me. I like that it's close to Dulles, but um, it's going to, well, I say Dulles. They're close to Dulles. It's, it's relatively. But this, to me, is a tip, one of those tips of the iceberg. I think we will find plenty more in the D.C. area in the coming weeks. It's just nice that this one has surfaced and gives us a place to look. All right, let's go out west to some EV havens here. Colorado. EV Texans able to find our Colorado uh, Springs location here. Supercenter 1896. The plan is developed with the intent to provide public electric vehicle EV charging stations for the existing Walmart Supercenter. Um, doesn't tell us how many or what uh, particular brand of charger they're going to use. I, sus I suspect Alpitronic, but we'll have to see. Uh, here in Colorado Springs. Now, this permit was interesting because if you dug into it, you found a letter. And in that letter, you find the mention of two more locations. That letter also references Supercenter 3582 out near Colorado Springs Airport as a location where they would like to build. And also Supercenter 5123 on the northern end of town, uh, being included in this particular market build in Colorado Springs. Those two joined the location at 8250 Razorback Row, Woopig. And uh, so Colorado Springs is getting a big of a bit of a build out here as well. Let's stay in Colorado. Evie Texans went to his roots and found Broomfield, Colorado. This one's a little vague. Uh, not entirely 100% certain that this is a part of Walmart Energy, but I tend to think that it is. Uh, Broomfield asking to build a Walmart EV charging station. Again, this is the screenshot that I got from Don. I was not able to log into this database myself. They wanted access codes or something. But uh, from this, it looks like Pretty, pretty promising here. Um, we'll keep an eye on this one. And then Alejandro EV66, 
took the Broomfield location, ran with it, and found in Thornton, Colorado, just north of Denver as well, that there is a plan for electric vehicle charging stations uh, at a Walmart Super Center 1231. And here, again, very, very vague. Uh, the word commercial to me could mean is this for commercial vehicles that Walmart has? Is this a commercial development as opposed to residential? I'm not entirely sure. I like to try to find customer or something in there for for confirmation. But what kind of confirms this one for me is if you look at the map, it is right off of I-25. That is a spectacular location for drivers uh, going in and out of Denver up to Fort Collins or coming down from Fort Collins or, or Cheyenne or wherever. Uh, just It's a good location to get you in and out of Denver. So we have that one. And then two more locations. Let's go further west and hit the mother load. Ontario, California along I-10 is joining the Walmart Energy Party uh, by installing eight Alpitronic HYC 400 units, totaling 16 stalls. This ties Oklahoma City for the largest install. Um, and it's at Supercenter 3796, again, in Ontario, California. Uh, this is an area I'm kind of familiar with because of racing and NASCAR. You got Pomona, Fontana, Riverside, even Ontario. They all had speedways that NASCAR at one point visited. So um, <clears throat> this area, heavily traveled, I-10 corridor, spectacular location. More Alpitronic hyperchargers are on their way to California. Uh, coming through Walmart Energy as a means. We know that BP Pulse with the LAX Giga Hub has them already installed and many others, I'm sure. But uh, I suspect that Walmart will be bringing quite a few. There's actually one other California permit as well, Antioch, California, up near the Bay Area. Now, I've sat on this one for about two months because it is very, very vague. It says, install 16 level 3 charging stations. Also, the address, when you put it in, pops up at a 7-Eleven. However, that 7-Eleven is very, very small, and it's flanked by a Walmart Supercenter. So this one could go either way. And it came to me with other permits that I determined were not Walmart Energy. They were just Walmart property uh, ventures, basically. Um, permitting in California is a different animal. So um, it just... This has been a confusing one for me, but I'm okay with saying it now that we have in Ontario the confirmation of a 16-stall uh, charger that this one could very easily also fall into that category of being for Walmart Energy. So there you have it, 17 locations found in permitting and permitting applications for Walmart Energy. Here's what the data looks like now, and it's only getting bigger. Um, these locations... Uh, from Arizona to California and Colorado, we got Florida in there, Nebraska, Oklahoma, a ton in Texas, now Virginia, and more in Washington. Very exciting. Hopefully one of these is near you. If not, just hold on. It's coming. Um, so let's look at the construction ones. These already have already been under construction for a while. Some of these are really ready to go but just don't have the final inspection so this right here uh, shows us what's going on in the metroplex that aren't open but have started construction there are only two in the metroplex uh, from the original 15 that have not started uh, their construction but we have found three or four others that have been added since so there you have it a huge update again thank you for hanging in there if you've if you've made it this long i didn't mean for it to uh, back up on me but with that appendectomy i had it just kind of piled up on me um 17 locations uh very very exciting and uh thank you again to alejandro ev66 guy moffin and to uh ev texans for finding these and sending them my way if you find them you can reach me on x uh at the arc e traveler such as uh guy did or you can email me at the arkansas e traveler gmail.com and i'll be happy to take a look at what you have and put it in the next update if it uh looks to be from walmart energy all right, that's it. Uh, that's the update. Hopefully, we'll have another one in the coming weeks with some more open locations in DFW. But until then, I'm Landon saying happy trails.